Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Heart to Gold, where last time we made our way from Saffron City back over to Route 8 and kind of just made our way through the Lavender Town through Rock Tunnel to get to the power plant. We found out that there is a suspicious character over in Cerulean City, so we need to make our way there. While I could take the easy route out, I'm going to take the slightly harder route. It's a slightly higher number. I might as well take the 9 route. Oh, might as well just kind of hop into that really quick and make our way over there. So... Yeah, I did swap out Sir Derp out finally because I can now use Cut. With Slurpee! So I'm not sure how you're cutting things, but yeah, it is going to be kind of useful around here because there's a lot of places that we just need to cut trees in this particular area in order to find items and things like that. So I might as well just kind of just go through and be like, I got an item! Got a full restore. Already off to a good start. But we have a Balba thing. Okay. Hi, Azure. It's Warden Balba. We come over for new objects. With these, you should be able to meet lots of different Pokemon. Do your best. Yeah, I still got quite a few of those left to go in order to actually, uh, 100% that. It's not happening. I'm sorry. I tell you a secret. Our first three battle. All right, what secret could you possibly give me that is so beneficial? Let's find out, Clark. You sent out that Onyx. I am not prepared for this in the slightest. Turbo, I am so sorry, but you are probably going to level up from this. Um... Uh, I could just do a Lava Plume. I mean, it's probably going to do a lot of damage. That's a good move. I considered teaching that on Turbo to make him go a little bit faster. But I'm just going to do a little bit of damage to you. It's going to be a lot of damage. I mean, it was enough. I mean, you're still going to go before me anyway. Okay. I guess he wants to be really fast. That makes total sense. All right. That's fine by me. Lava Plume it is. There we go, that's one down. All right, Turbo is now level 50. That's a nice little level up right there. Three more defense, all right. Doug Drio, uh, yes, I will switch actually. Miss Fortune can handle this one. All right, Miss Fortune, you are probably maybe going to get a level up from this. I mean, it's, it's just a Doug Drio that that doesn't look right. Dugtrio's usually like has the mean eyebrows going on. Where are they? It's just like three diglets. Which is, yeah, I mean, I, I guess is the case, but Dugtrio's usually madder than that. It's like, that's weird. <laughs> I feel like it should have the eyebrows. It looks so weird to me. Oh well, it's down. All right, Miss Fortune, you are now level 51. Yeah, I lost that. What is your secret? What did you want to battle me for? The power plant is across a small river. Cool. I already knew that because I came through the other way. So yeah, we have a very, very long path over here. We can avoid most of the battles in this area if we wanted to. It's weird because a lot of the places in Kanto, they just allow you to avoid everything for some particular reason. I don't know why. They, it's just like, I guess if they just want... Like, if you want to get through the post game as fast as possible, they give you the option. I mean, I could have done this power plant stuff way sooner. Hello. Have you ever been to a picnic? There's so much fun. Well, I don't mean to rain on your parade, but I'm going to throw an ocean in your face. <laughs> so, um... Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to hit it with a rock. That works, too. All right, Miss Fortune, we have a change of plans. Jericho Meteor. And good to go. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Skip Bloom. Okay. Sure. I'm totally fine with nuking this one from Orbit 2. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, I guess I missed that. And now I got to worry. Seed. Um, okay, I guess Miss Fortune's just going to be awake tonight. That, that's fine. I'm sorry, Miss Fortune. It's good. We'll go to Open One Center. We'll make it so you can sleep just fine. It's all, it's all good. Okay. That special attack going down just slightly made it so I couldn't really quite get rid of it. That's fine. Only one more hit. Let's see what I can do. Oh, good. You got a little bit of health back. Uh, I'm just going to do a surf. Here you go. I'm going to overwater you. 
and you're down. Oh! I mean, sure. You bake lots of goodies and share them around. They're delicious. Can I have a cookie then? I don't know. I mean, you are a picnicker. Are you like, are you one of those people that go up to doors and sell like the Girl Scout cookies? If so, I want like 10 boxes. That would be cool. I haven't had those in a long time. I came to explore Rock Tunnel. I already explored it and I got decent chunk of the items. If you have an ability, you should be able to get the rest of them. What do you have on you anyway? All right, Dean, you have a gold duck. Oh, I just realized the like weird connections. Since they're all campers, they're going into Rock Tunnel, which Rock Tunnel has all the Safari Zone Pokemon in it now. So they're essentially camping out in the Safari Zone technically, but not really. It's like the campers just had like to change their outlook. Instead of going to the Safari Zone, like they're not camping in the woods, they're camping in caves now. Sand Slash, um, I'm okay. Miss Fortune can keep handling this. Let's do one more of these. I'm, I know I'm throwing flaming rocks at you, so maybe it'll do a little bit more damage. There we go. That's fine, we can deal with that. Whoa, danger, eh? I mean, I, I, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I did just nuke your Pokemon from orbit, so I guess so. My Pokemon were hurt even before entering Rock Tunnel. Um, yeah, I I did that, kinda. I mean, I made the faint, but I better take them to the Pokemon Center right away. You you might want to do that. I mean, the option is there, unlike some other people are like, I don't know what to do. You made my Pokemon faint. Hello, I know you're looking at me. Wow, you have some good range. Mount Silver is in Jodar, right? Must be a Silver Mountain. It's possible. <laughs> I mean, if it was called Mount Gold, would it be called a Gold Mountain? Or is it like the color scheme? Does it have a bunch of snow on it? I guess we'll find out. Either way, I'm using Surf on your rock. All right, we're getting there. It's like the coughing battle from the last episode where I just kind of skipped through it. I just kind of skipped this one too. I was kind of focused on the mountain and forgot my Pokemon. You threw three rocks at me and I just flooded them away. That was about concentration. I mean, yeah, kinda. All right, let's cut this down because there's definitely obviously something here. There's a shadow over there. So there has to be something Slurpee. There's a Pokeball. TM91, Flash Cannon. All right, so Flash Cannon, let's take a look at that. Uh, be in this one here, 91. That is kind of a high number for this one. 91, Flash Cannon. Music gathers all its light energy and releases in one shot. It may also lower this foe's special defense stack. It's a steel type move. Can any one of my party use it? Because that's a move type I haven't really got around yet. Uh, of course not, all right. Oh, good to know, good to know. At least I have that, I guess. And there's definitely a hidden goodie somewhere around here. I just gotta find it. Uh, it is very close by. Uh, here? Either. All right, good to know. I can pretty much just go this way now. Go down and back around. And I can't really get up there unless I do like a little bit of a loop around like this. So there is a patch of grass right there. Is there, there's really nothing there that's strange. All right, and we'll cut this down so we can get that item right over there. It'd be nice. I'm surprised that they didn't do this. They they should make it so whenever you use HM abilities on the field with Pokemon, give them some experience. Like, I want to say 10% because that might be a little bit much. Maybe like five. I don't know. Because if, it'd be like a way to grind out lower level types. So I'll give them like HMs a use. I don't know. You could kind of cheese that, I guess. I forgot to use a repel. Before I battle you though, there is, I'm pretty sure there is a trainer right over here with an item. So let's just go right over here and talk to you. People shouldn't leave their litter behind. I mean, any litter would make more sense, which is what you said. I just missed the penance you said. Either way, Nidorina. 
I can't throw rocks at you anymore, so I hope you're fine with, like, a little bit of a rush attack where I just kind of whip you. I mean, that, that works too, I guess. It was definitely enough. There we go, and level 52 of Misfortune. Misfortune's kind of pulling ahead of the rest of the pack, but there's a good reason for that. Misfortune's still a second level evolution. We kind of want to get around that, but, um, Raichu. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. I could probably just do another Dragon Rush and be okay. You are a higher level, though. A little bit, ooh, 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 okay. That's not good. Ow. I mean, that's... Uh, yeah, that, that's fine. Okay. And quick... Why did you use quick attack when I... Do, okay. Why didn't you just do that then? <laughs> I mean, I guess... I mean, I know Thunderbolt isn't really that strong on me, but it's still a good move and does a lot of damage. But why did you use quick attack after paralyzing me? Just continue using Thunderbolt. <laughs> oh, I lost. And now I'm paralyzed. Thank you for that one. What do we got over here? A max potion. All right, good to have that. And we're gonna go back over here. And I probably should use a super repel because I, I don't want to really be dealing with the grass. So we're just gonna do one of these and super repel, there we go. All right, and perfect, hello there. Hey you, don't litter. Did he see me throw the super repel cannon in the grass or something? Because I definitely didn't litter. Although, what happened to it? Did I actually throw it out? Huh. I may have thrown out a lot of Super Repel cans and not realized it. My bad. Also, ow. Well, hopefully this takes you out. Polyrath. Uh, yes, actually. I can kind of cover my bases here. Jupiter! It's been a hot minute. But you got this covered, I'm pretty dang sure. Hi, Polyrath. Uh, I'm gonna punch you straight in that spiral target. Wow, I actually didn't get rid of you. I would have laughed so hard if you took care of yourself again. And there we go, you're down. And what are we dealing with now? We have a uh, primate. Okay, uh, yes, I will switch. I legitimately don't know what I want to use for this. Um, you know what, Toffley? This actually kind of does give you a little small hint here, because you can catch a Mankey and a Primate on this route in Heart Gold. It's just kind of a low chance of getting them. But it is it's useful to know because you fight a trainer that has them. You're like, oh, I can get them here. I mean, you might not know that. I mean, they're in your Pokedex, so you can probably look it up now, but still. There we go. I was just pointing out. Did I actually litter? Are you just kind of saying don't litter? What odd? Sorry, you weren't littering. It was my mistake. Uh oh. Okay, so good. I didn't actually throw all those repel cans everywhere. That's fine. So now we just head right over here and go around, and that leads right over to Cerulean City. It's honestly a long time coming. But yeah, we have a gym over here that we can go into. A shady character sneak into the gym. What business do they have of Misty? Okay, so the shady character's in the gym. Before that, we're actually going to go heal because there's a Pokemon Center right here. And some people to talk to. The Magna Train travels at over 340 miles per hour. It goes between Kanto and Johto in almost no time at all. It really does make Johto accessible. Yeah, it would be nice if it was accessible. For battles, I'd much rather use Pokemon I've been raising, even if they're weaker with some than some newly caught Pokemon. I mean, that's usually how it... I don't know, that's weird. Either way, yeah... It would be nice to be able to do that because in order to get to Johto right now, I had to fly to the Pokemon League and then I could fly over to Johto locations. Like, Johto's just locked off to me right now unless I do, like, kind of unnecessary fly steps. It's a little annoying. 
but it's not the worst thing in the world. Let's check out Cerulean City while we're here because we already know they're in the gym and they're just kind of still in the gym, so we're good to go. Hello, Zuba Zuba. My husband lives happily with Pokemon he got through trades. I live happily having such a great husband. That's cute. Don't move. Garu Garu. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. All right, bye. That was a house. That was a house. Hello there. My Slowbro and I make an awesome combination. Slowbro, show me your psychic. Slowbro, psychic hits hard. What did it hit? Yara? Full of fighting spirit. Did it say the fighting spirit? Can you reread that? Yeah, it is. Full of the fighting spirit. That weird. I keep saying fighting <laughs> instead of fighting. Trans center of the bicycle boom. Uh, what did I say? Surely in bike main shop. Yeah, this is where you normally get your bike in Kanto. But since we already have one, this place is just kind of... That's hilarious for a repel to wear off here. A long time ago, this cool boy rode my bike around. And that started this entire bike boom. Then I decided to open a branch at Goldenrod City. And they started selling like the wind. But no one comes to this shop anymore because of that. All I have left here is this bike. is so cool, pump. I start selling inflatable tubes. I mean, yeah, this is the water town. So there's a lot of water. So make inflatable tubes. That's actually kind of nice. That would be a good idea. Either way, a couple more places. We have this right over here, which is just another shop to deal with. You'll run into many trainers on the way to Cerulean Cape. You want to see how they stack up against other trainers. So, like a whole nugget bridge situation. Okay. Missy's about the only person in town that can beat the trainers at the Cerulean Cape. Hello. What do you have? Anything new for me? Just a quick ball. You don't even have desk balls. That's unfortunate. What about over here? You just have the usual stuff now? Yep. All just the usual things. I don't need to buy any of them. I'm good to go. All right, so the Mart is pretty much clear, and that is mostly Cerulean City. Let's just take a look around, see if there's anything else I haven't covered yet. It's pretty much just like a wide berth of places here, nothing too fancy. Hello, sign. Cerulean City, the Floral Lagoon City. I mean, I guess that makes sense. There is some hidden goodies here, but I can't really access them just yet. So I might as well just check out over in the gym really quick. Right over here. Oops, I'm so sorry. You were not hurt, okay? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm very busy. Oh, is he like foreign? That's great. That's cute. No time for talking with you. Not good for me if seen by... If me... Not good for me if seen by somebody. I mean, wow, that's kind of hard to read. Oh no, you've seen me already. I make big mistake. Hey you, forget you see me, okay? You seen, heard, know nothing, okay? Bye. Bye bye a go go. That's cute. Okay, so what did he do in here? There doesn't seem to be anything going on. There's nobody here, it looks like. Let's find out what's going there. I guess we'll have to find the guy because he ran away. So let's check north from here. It shouldn't be like too far ahead. I mean that's the only real place they can go. There's either go to Saffron where there's a bunch of people or go north where there's a bunch of people or go west where there's a bunch of people. He doesn't have many options, okay? So I guess Nugget Bridge is good. Hello there. Kanto's Power Plant? It's near the end of Route 9, the road that heads east of here. I think there was an accident of some sort there. I mean, yeah, we kind of already figured that one out. Did I enter any of these houses? I don't think I did. Hello. Are you collecting Kanto gym badges? <laughs> Can you imagine if he asked that question? He, I walked in. He's like, are you collecting Kanto gym badges? Or just walk out of the house? <laughs> like, I don't even answer him. There's a notice here. Stamp out thievery, make the city a friendlier, more cheerful place. Cerulean police. Is this the police center? It's like a mini house. Hello. Doug, Doug. How are you digging into the ground like that? Okay. I heard that some shady character is skulking about. I won't stand for it if he turns out to be a thief. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> We're held up by robbers before. Oh yeah, isn't this, oh yeah. That makes sense. This one's the house that you need to go through in order to get to the upper part of the town over here for some stupid reason, but they kind of cleared it out and just made more space. It works better. It's way better than before. You can actually just go around and, you know, find places much more easily. But there is one little dude right over here. Might as well talk to you. I heard of a cave here that had a horribly powerful Pokemon in it. That's why I came here. Yeah? A dowsing machine is responding. 
I don't know why that hint exists, but yeah, there is an item right over there that is on that patch of land that we can't quite get to from here, but we might be able to find a way to get to it. What's this? East is really in Cape. Well, we did find out some stuff's going on over there, so let's just take a look at it. Hello. Oh, okay. Uh, who are you? Who is this guy in black coming between me and my girlfriend? Oh no! Hiding I was, but you didn't find me in no time. I still said that wrong. Me, only one from another country. Yet no big business, okay? I think I did. If stop the energy, big, big panic and unlucky for your people. Secret it is my mission, so I tell you I not. But if you win do versus me, a man I be and mind secret you to tell, you understand. Wow, this is so hard to read. <laughs> Battle begin, we do. All right, foreign Team Rocket member. You do know they're just banded, right? All right, all you have is a gold bat. Okay, I can, I can deal with that. Uh, Miss Fortune has a big mouth. Let's throw a rock in it. <laughs> Let's just try to hit that big target. Just, just feed it rocks. Make it fall on the ground. Well, it worked. Aye, no, no, no. Believe it, I can't. Strong very much be you. Match I am not to you. Okay, tell you mine secret, will I? Machine parts steal by me. Hide it, I did in Jim of the Cerulean. Near inflatable too, put it, I did. Look for Jim at. But you forget me not. Beat you for sure, will Team Rocket. Come from Jodo, will they? Mine allies, yes. Will revenge they are. You say what? Team Rocket, bye-bye, a go-go? Broken up, it says it is you? Oh no, should I do what now on from me? Okay. I and my country go home. Hey, Team Rocket, I will. Goodbye, so long. Bye-bye, a go-go, buddy. That was weird. No, Mom. What's wrong with that guy? Is he really in your inflatable tube is the machine part? What was he talking about? We are finally alone. You will not bother us, right? Give me about 10 seconds. All right, I bothered you long enough. Let's go. So we need to find the machine part near a inflatable tube. Well, there's quite a lot in that gym. So honestly, the way I would see it is they will make it stupidly annoying by making it so I have to go all the way to the end. So how about we just kind of surf along until we get to the edge of the water and just get to the other side and, you know, find it. So let's see. I doubt it's on any of these inflatable tubes that make it way too obvious. And the guy looked like he did come from the water to begin with. So let's go around like so. And I would assume Misty is not here. Yep, it's completely empty. So let's start off by checking right over here. Oh, I guess I found it. Black item that was by the pool. It's a part from a machine. Yeah, we got the machine part. So how about we take that back over to the power plant? It's gonna be a little bit of a trek for me to get there. So you know what? I'm actually just gonna cut to it because I got a kind of a little bit of a journey to get there. I might as well just fly and get there really quickly. And here we are. So let's just go back over to the manager. Ah, yeah, that thing you have. Is that the part that was stolen from my beloved generator? You found it, thank you so much. Now all I have to do is attach this part here. Yes, it's running. Waha, thanks. Here, go ahead and take this TM as a reward. TM57, that is charge beam. You mentioned it earlier. Yeah, we know. I just said that. It will shoot beams and it also sometimes raise special attack, which it can be somewhat useful. Let me just uh, go over to my TM list really quick and go over to 57 charge beam. R5090. Yeah, it's not really too anything special. I mean, it could raise your special attack over time, but I have better moves. Staff mottos. Electricity is not infinite. It can serve whenever possible. Watch out for each other. Idle hands are not allowed. Wear shoes with rubber soles. Manager is awesome. Yeah, he is, I, I guess. he. I mean, he makes war war noises. Either way, now that the power plant's back up. I mean, okay. 
Thank you for the slow percentage chance I'm catching this. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect to find this in between cuts, but, um... Uh... Yeah, sure, let's do it. Let's just try a quick ball and see if it works. If it doesn't, then I'll just ultra ball it. All right. <laughs> okay. That is fine by me. I mean, I don't really need Primate because it's part of the Kanto decks, but it's something. If approached while asleep, it may awaken and angrily give chase in a groggy state of semi-sleep. All right, I don't really have two fancy nicknames for you, but you shall be named Piggins. All right, well, let's uh, go do what I actually wanted to do. Which, like I was saying before, I got really interrupted by a rare Pokemon spawn. Yeah, so there's a couple things we could do now that the power's back in pretty much the entire day Kanto. So we could just head right over to Route 5, right over here, and just see the little daycare. We technically don't even need to bother with that grass patch right there. We could just kind of go around right over here and just, you know, just avoid the entirety of this route if we wanted to. But if we want to get over to here, we just do this and get really interrupted to get right over to here. Hello there. Yeah! I sense a sinister shadow hovering over you. Take this to ward it off. We get the cleanse tag. You are in mortal danger, but you're protected now. Yeah, the cleanse tag is like a little bit of a item that we can equip. Right over here. I don't want to be held by Pokemon. It keeps wild Pokemon away if the horror is the first one in the party. It's nice. It's like a repel. It's not like the best thing in the world to have on, but it's not the greatest thing to have on. I mean, it's useful. My grandma's into warding off what she believes to be evil spirits. I'm so sorry that she started you. Yeah, but remember how I mentioned that we could have just taken this mini short route just to get to Cerulean City? Yep. Just go straight through here, and it pretty much just leads right over the Saffron. Stupidly fast, stupidly quick. But there is something here now that we can do, aside from using the manual train. We head right over here. I did mention this before. We needed to keep this in mind when we restore power. We go right up here. Hi, I heard that you lost your cherished Poké doll. If I find it, you'll give me a magnet train pass? I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? Pardon, I shouldn't decide what you should do. I'm really worried, what if someone finds it? I mean, it makes sense, yeah, but you literally just kind of spoke for me. I mean, it literally was just like, oh, hey, I lost my doll, find it for me, and I would've said yes either way. Because you gave me something useful out of it. So what we can do to actually find this really quickly is I'm just going to use Fly because I have it on me finally. Go straight to Vermilion City. Because we've seen it before. It's kind of just sitting on a desk. And now that we're here, like I mentioned, it was on a desk. So we just need to head over and find that specific desk. So right over here in this fancy looking house. It's actually a fan club. There it is. I love Clefairy, but I could never catch one. So I'm making do with a Poké doll I found. What, the girl who lost his Poké doll is sad? Okay, could you take this Poké doll back to that poor little girl? I'll be finding a real Clefairy on my own someday. That's the spirit. There we go, we get the lost item. I love that they claim it as a lost item, as a key item, because they gave you a Poké doll and just put it in your inventory. You could have potentially use it on accident, and then you're like, whoops. There we go. Now that we got that, let's give it back. Hello. Hi, my name is Steven. The champion from the Hoenn region. Hi, Cameo. Have we met before? Not yet? Technically? That's not possible. All the trainers I have battled seem to have the same look. I have a backwards hat, so whoops. Anyway, especially the ones who gave me tough battles. By the way, <laughs> have you seen this? <laughs> it just holds up a giant picture of a Pokemon. Have you heard of a Pokemon called Latias? I'm investigating why Latias, a Pokemon from Hoenn, decided to leave Hoenn to come here. Latias is the Pokemon that has a lot to do with the Soul Dew, a gem like Orb. Considering the fact that Latias is now in Kanto, it's possible to assume that it has to do with the Soul Dew. Latias is the Pokemon that travels a great distance. It'd be difficult to find one without any machine to track it with, but any trainer will be drawn to it, won't they? I must go. Air journey is cross again. Without anything to track it, you say? Hi, Mother. I'm, I, I, I don't want to answer the phone, but I gotta answer the phone because you called me. Okay. 
Yeah, 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 that's fine. I, I didn't want to actually use the phone. It's like I wanted to use an app on my phone, but then I got a phone call and you just can't remove it off the screen. Yeah, if we go to the map now. Yeah, we can just track it. It's right there. So if you want to get a lot of yes, you can. You're in Soul Silver, it's a lot of yes, And you can get the other one by an event that no longer is X. Nickly, unless you cheat to get the item some other way. Either way, we can actually get that back, but there is one more thing we should get to before we get it back because I just kind of want to make a little bit of a roundabout. So let's head back over to Lavender Town really quick. Head right in here and we talk to you who's no longer panicking. Ah, so you're the Azure who solved the power plant's problem. <laughs> what if that wasn't true and I just walked in and I had like a nameplate on my thing that's just the Azure? Thanks to you, I never lost my job. I'll tell you, you're a real lifesaver. Please take this as my thanks. The director loaded the expansion card on Azure's Poke Gear. We got an upgraded Poke Gear now, so we can do a little bit more things here. We can tune in even more radio programs here in Kanto. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the Poke Flute one, because they mentioned we could use the Poke Flute on sleeping Pokemon in the region. So we just kind of like search around. We can find Poke Flute just kind of going right up here, and we get that option. But we also have this Pokemon music. We have as well just listening to stuff that's like going on in the town, all the all the usual goodies here, Pokemon search party, all that stuff. We could find like all the good stuff. Not like we really care about it, but Poke Flute will be useful in waking sleeping Pokemon so we can get around. Either way, here we go. That's my Clefairy Poke doll. See the tear tear. The tear. You <laughs> I always confuse those words sometimes and I even had like a thing where I'm like, huh, I wonder if that's actually a thing or not. Where the right arm is sewn on, that's proof. Okay, I'll give this magnet train pass as I promised. So now we can actually use the magnet train because we needed the pass to use it. So now we can get right back to Johto really quickly. Not a big deal, just go back and forth. The rail company man gave me that when we tore down our old house for the station. Um... Uh, yeah, that, that would be, if it's like an infinite pass, that makes sense. It makes sense for it to be an infinite pass since they tore down your entire house. <laughs> yeah. Either way, going back to the Tears and Tears thing, when Tears of the Kingdom for Zelda was coming out, they didn't say the name of it out loud. And with the whole weird power thing going on, I thought it was Tears of the Kingdom. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. But that's fine. Either way, now that we got that, let's head back to where we can actually, you know, um, do a gym battle. All right, so it doesn't look like there's anybody here still. So that's a little bit weird. Maybe the guy outside has any updates for me, do you? Surely Sim Jim's Misty. Okay, cool, that's not really much of an update. So it looks like we're gonna need to find Misty, which is going to be fun, but there's only one real location that she could be because they did mention a bunch of trainers are battling in Cerulean Cape. So let's take a look at our Poke Gear really quick, shall we? Not that. Right over here, Route 25 leads over to the Cerulean Cape all the way at the end over here. So might as well go up there and see if we can find Misty we can't actually do the gym yet and I left my Poke Gear going. That's fine. I guess we have fancy music for this outro that I'm really going to cut off because my no more outro. Either way, next time I have to play is my Pokemon Heart to Gold. We're going to see about finding Missy so we can actually do the gym but we're going to have to go along Nugget Bridge and fight a bunch of trainers and things like that. I'll see you all then.